The following video shows us how to multiply bin binomials together, and these are a couple special cases uh, that you run into. The first one um, gives you an x plus 4, x minus 4, and you can see how it's plus a number, minus a number. It's a very specific type. So you're going to do x times x is x squared, um, then x times negative 4 is a negative 4x. Now we multiply the 4 times both things in the, the second parenthesis, so it's 4 times x is 4x, and then 4 times negative 4 is a negative 16. And what's interesting here is the negative 4x plus 4x, they cancel themselves out or they add up to zero or whatever you want to say, and they go away, and so you end up with x squared minus 16. It's actually called the difference of two squares because x squared is x times x, and 6 is 4 times 4. So x squared minus 16, the difference of two squares. And it's gonna be, it becomes very, something very important when we start factoring. The other is um, when you got something squared, x plus 3 squared. It is not, never will be, x squared plus 9. Very, very common mistake. Don't do it. Okay, you, ha you cannot just square both terms inside the parentheses. What you have to do is you have to write it out like it's a multiplication problem. Anytime you square a number, it's like multiplying that number by itself. So we do x plus 3 times x plus 3. So we do x times x is x squared. And then we're going to do x times 3 is 3x. And then 3x plus, or 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times 3 is 9. If you notice, the two middle terms are the exact same thing, which will always be the case in a um, perfect square problem like this. Uh, you add them together, and you end up with x squared plus 6x plus 9. And so what you notice is the first term is the, the first number squared, the first variable squared. The last term is the 3 squared, and then the um, middle term is 2 times uh, the two numbers, or the 3 and the x multiplied together.